Hi everyone, welcome to Kayla and Shani. And in today's video, we're actually doing something that's super exciting. Um, we were contacted by a client recently who wants to do some work on her little girl's room. Um, it was originally her nursery. And she's finally going from nursery to big girl room. So she wanted us to help her come up with a design and bring that design to life. And of course we were excited to tackle the challenge. So we immediately planned a day to go over and measure out the room and get before pictures before we even start considering anything design wise. measured everything out I made plans to work off of and then started us putting together the design we talked to mom about some of the things that she would want in the room and things that would must have she already had a bed system that she got from Ikea in the room and she also had like a cabinet system that she had from Ikea if I can find them I'll try to put a picture of them so you can see how they look on the screen and I know she said some of her must-haves in that room would be she wanted activity desks where her daughter can color and paint and stuff. She's really artistic. She wanted a lot of storage because it wasn't a big closet and she also wanted like a little cute little toy kitchen area. So we kind of knew all these different elements going into the design. And from there, me and Kayla sat down and discussed different things like colors, ideas, the practicality of those ideas. And after the discussion, we were able to go into the software and I recreated the room. I did a re 3D recreation of the room in that software. And we spent a couple days coming up with a design for the room, putting all the elements that we discussed and decided upon into a picture to make so our customer can visualize it better. We had two different designs that were very similar but a little different that we were stuck between. One of the designs had the bed in the middle of the room and the other design had the bed against the wall, which I thought was the biggest difference in those two designs. And we discussed it with mom and again, discussed the practicality of it because in the end, it is a child's room. We want to make sure it's something that she can live comfortably in. We ultimately decided to go with the option that had the bed against the wall so that there was more room to play and pull out toys and stuff without big furniture getting in the way. Once we had the design decided upon, it's time to make plans to put this design in action, which is what we've been doing over the last couple of days. Uh, we went and found pieces that were very similar to the things we had in our design. Probably couldn't, we didn't find exact things. We found things that were very similar or matched the vibe and sent that list over to mom. Mom's been ordering everything in and all the things are there currently waiting on us. We had went to Home Depot and picked out colors. We're gonna paint the cabinetry, we're painting the walls, and we're also doing a pretty harsh design on the wall, like in the rendering. So we went and picked out different paint colors, different shades of pink that were complimentary that we're going to go pick up now before we head over there at Home Depot and get started painting. So yeah, today our agenda really is just painting, going to probably be an all day process. Let's head out, get dressed, head to Home Depot, and then we're gonna head over and start on this project that we've been spending days planning. First thing we're doing today is masking off the baseboards, windows, doors, and also masking off the little area at the bottom because we are going to need to paint that a different color other than pink to achieve the design we want. We're gonna start off with the pale pink color. Since that's gonna be covered majority of the walls, we're gonna go through and try to get all that painted on before we start painting on the design.
we're now going in and painting the lower half of the walls a light cream color so that we can achieve the arch design that we did in the rendering. Now it's time to do the actual arch part of the design. We achieved this by finding a circular object that was about the size that we wanted. And we just traced around that object on some cardboard and cut it out to make a stencil that we were going to use to make sure all of our arches were the same size on the wall. And here you see me just tracing along that stencil over and over again to achieve uniform arches along the wall. We decided to use a small detail brush to trace along the outside of the arches just so we had more control and before we filled it in and by using this method we were able to get the arches really perfect without even using masking tape so that tape saved us a whole bunch of time in this process. Considering the fact that we hand painted all the arches, I was really proud of how perfect we were actually able to get the arches using this technique. They turned out really nice and exactly how we envisioned them being. Good morning everybody. So yesterday was such a long day. It was a day full of all of the paint. We painted the walls, but it's all done now. Everything is dry and everything looks amazing. And today is going to be a day filled with building all the things. It's going to be a little bit more painting too, unfortunately, because we need to paint the cabinets, the colors, so it can match the rendering. But that shouldn't take so long. Um, we have to prime, sand them, prime them, and paint them. But that'll be all we have to do as far as paint work today. Um, it's really going to be focused on building. We need to build all the cabinets. We need to build the bed so that next time we come, we can have everything mounted and really put everything in its place. So yeah, it's going to be a long day. So we're about to pack our soul bag, get dressed, and head right over there early in the morning so that we can get this all done within one day so the project doesn't drag out. So yeah, about to head out, and we'll see you guys there.
The first thing I tackled in this room was the bed because that was going to be the biggest thing that we had to build. And while I was working on that, Kayla started getting a head start on getting the cabinets built out. that we have the bed built and out the way we're now going through and building the rest of the cabinets that's going to go in the room that we finally have everything built after a million years we're going through and pep prepping all of the cabinets that we plan on painting different shades of pink
the last thing on today's agenda is to add all of the hardware to the different cabinets now that we have everything painted and ready to go Hey guys, so we're back for another day of hard work. The last couple days have been a lot, but it's been so much fun seeing our design come into life. We went through and of course you've seen painting all the walls and last time we were there, we built all of the furniture. We built the bed, we built all the cabinets and we also went and did custom colors on the cabinets because we wanted them to be a little more custom we didn't like the colors they came with as we explained before so we got all that done and today is about putting all of the pieces together now that everything is built so today we're going to be hanging the light fixture we're going to be hanging the shelves that go above the bed of course the bed is already in its place we're going to be mounting the cabinets on the wall and since the last time we've been there mom has built these two little toy storages I'll show you guys a picture of them that she got from Ikea that we're going to use to make her little activity desk under her cabinets and she also bought her little kitchen set from Ikea I'm pretty sure if I'm not mistaken but it's a little plain so we're going to go and we're going to customize that kitchen set so that it fits more with the vibe of the room so yeah today is about finishing up all of the bigger pieces so that we might have just one more day to come where we do all the pretty so that means we'll be making the bed we'll be doing all the decorations but before we do that of course we need to get everything mounted we need to get everything secured we need to do all of the big work i'm really excited about today because i feel like we're really gonna be able to see our design come into life we're really gonna start seeing everything look more fleshed out now that it's in its place so we're about to get dressed um we're gonna go run to home depot because we gotta get some wood cut down for the activity desk the first thing that we're going to tackle now that we're here is mounting all of the cabinets and securing everything to the wall so that they're out of the way and they're not blocking our way while we're trying to get everything else done today. They already had this cute little bunny chair and we decided to reuse it at her activity desk. So I'm going ahead and giving it a fresh coat of paint so it can be as good as new. I'm now using these little L brackets to attach the piece of wood that we cut down to both of the little toy chests that mom built last um, before we got here. And we're going to connect all those pieces to make one long desk. We decided to paint all of the doors on the toy kitchen the same color pinks as the cabinets. So here I am just removing all of them so they can get a coat of paint. And we also decided to take all of the silver hardware on the kitchen set and we're going to spray paint it gold just so it can have more of a glam look and fit all of the other decor that we're also already doing in the room. thing we decided to do to spruce this kitchen up is to create a faux backsplash and we're cutting out 
cardboard to accomplish this. We just measured how big the opening in the back was and we cut the cardboard to that dimension. And we found some wallpaper that we were gonna use as the black splash to cover the cardboard in. And here's us just stapling our new backsplash to the kitchen. I'm going through and hanging up the floating shelves that are going to be over the bed now. The last thing that's on today's agenda is just pay, replacing the light fixture. And once we have that changed out, we will have everything that needs to be secured, secured, and everything that needs to be hung, hung. Okay guys, so today is the last day of this project, which is super exciting. We have everything built and put in this place and mounted and today is the funnest day of the whole process because today is the day we're going to be able to decorate and make everything pretty, which is always the funnest part. We're going to be able to see how everything comes together in the end and I'm super excited for that. Um, we're about to head out now and we're going to go to different stores because we just have to find some more decor items to put on the shelves and bedding and different things like that. Um, we already have some things that she ordered in, but we still have a couple things we need to fill in for. So we're going to go to all the different stores. We're going to look around and see what pretty we can find to add to the room. So yeah, today is going to be a fun day for shopping and decorating. So we're about to head out and just get started and we're going to be able to see how the project turns out in the end. So yeah, let's just head out. thing we're doing is going through and adding the hardware to all of the cabinet doors. Now we can finally get to the best part of any makeover and that is decorating. So right now we're making the bed and we're going to go ahead and add all the decorations to all of the shelves and all of the different surfaces in the room. These are the labels that we decided to add to the toy box drawers and we're just going to use some hot glue to attach this, these to each of the drawers.
We are coming to the end of this makeover. Now all that is left is to do the final reveal of the room.